What is going on, everyone? Samurai Solo, and I am back with EA Sports UFC 4. Today I'm getting some fights in with Edmund Shabazian. Kind of just felt like trying him out. I kind of forgot about him, actually. He's one of the mainly wanted to try him out because he's one of the new fighters in the game. You know, stat wise, he's nothing special, and he has a very basic moveset. But uh, we're going to see what we can do with him. You know, it's going to be tough, you know, facing Costa, Izzy, Whitakers, who we're probably going to be running up against. And as you can see, we're going up against Costa for the first one. And this player I am familiar with, at least from UFC 3. He was a good player. So we'll see what we can do. There we go. Lead over, hand straight right, rocks him. Ooh. Not even close to me. <laughs> I don't know why I threw that. Thought he might stay there. Yeah, I was trying to land that lead head kick. Shabazian's lead head kick is a four star head kick. Up oh, there we go. Come on, recover. Oh man, I went for the overhand right there. Is that gonna do it? Yep. Dang it. <laughs> that's all. That's that's the that's the risk of using Shabazian, guys. Good fight, man. Good fight. Uh, yeah, I knew this was gonna be a tough one. I went for a lead overhand right there as he was walking me down. I right into the head kick. Costa's powers is ridiculous in this game. See, look at this. I'm about to throw the lead overhand. Boom. Head kick catching me. Good job. You see that one more time by him? Boom. All right, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So we have another fight here. So hopefully we can uh, make up for that first fight. And we are taking on another Paulo Costa. Man, I felt good in that fight, and man, once he just rocked me that first time, I just, that was it. I should have just kept back. I thought he was going to step in with a jab or maybe a hook or something. I thought I could interrupt it with that overhand and just got that head kick on me, timed it nice. Now let me focus up here. Interesting, he's looking for a takedown. Uh, that overhand is getting me in trouble. I just threw that. Oh, man. Hold on. We're going to lose two in a row here. No, we're okay. We'll recover. He's got no stamina. Yeah, that, was a quick, uh, that was a quick transition there. I threw that lead overhand, fell short, and paid the price. I got to stop doing <laughs> I love that lead overhand combo, and I've been kind of going to that a lot. But, man, when you whiff, you're going to pay. Good block. <laughs> Had to try it. Ooh, I thought I pre-blocked that. I, I didn't think I did. I know I pre-blocked that. Scrapple Avenge that high. It's okay, though.
He's kind of not doing too much. I think he might know he's won the round, so he's kind of just relaxing a little bit here. There we go. Man, my stamina is pretty terrible. I thought his would be worse. I've been making him miss a little bit, but taking damage does make you, uh, there we go. Taking damage, you know, you lose stamina too. There's that lead overhand again. I can't resist that, can I? And I missed again. I was trying to get him to walk into it. All right. First round definitely goes to him. If he would have varied his ground and pound up a little bit, he might have actually got me out of there. He kind of just kept spamming hooks there, and I was able to post them. Look at that. That was off the missed overhand. And then I went to side lunge and eat that flying knee while I was... Man, he stayed rocked for a long time. That recovery took a while there. I knew this was going to be tough using Shabazi, and you know, I did. I was like, it's going to be a tough one using him. There we go, slip straight lead hook. Again, his stats aren't terrible, but I, like I said, when you're facing Costa, you're going to be fa I know we're going to be facing Whitaker, Izzy. Those, that's, that's a tough, tough challenge. There we go. That's straight right over that jab. Oh, whoa, straight knockout? Wow. I expected a drop there, but I did not expect a straight KO. I didn't think I had done enough damage to get a straight KO. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> wow. There's the two, and then, man, how cold. We will take that, guys. All right. That's another one down, guys. I'm going to keep this one going. Be right back. All right, and we are going up against Dan Henderson Hendo. It should be a fun one. I right, with the lead leg kick, but no overhand. You got to throw that classic Hendo overhand off that lead leg kick. Wasn't trying to grab him there. I was trying to throw an overhand. And he landed the right hand there. It's weird how he's throwing leg kicks with Dan Henderson. Missing that again. There we go. Two catches him in that vulnerability state. Wasn't trying to take him down, but that's okay. I haven't done that in a while. I used to do that all the time early. I don't know if y'all ever watched my videos. I would always accidentally take people down. It still happens to me once in a while, though. There we go. Oh, pull uppercut and no, no rock on that. There we go. That two drops him. Oh, my goodness. Did y'all see that? I ducked under that head kick beautifully. And that hook just missed him. That would have been... That might have been good night right there. Good takedown. Not having any of that. Let's go ahead and sprawl out. No. I bet Dan has really bad submissions. There we go, rocked again. He's down again. Oh, 
One strike Shabazian doesn't have that. I wish he has a front kick. So many fighters have front kicks in this game, and I really thought Shabazian would have had one, but he doesn't. He says Shabazian. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, good night. One second left in that round. Y'all know I love doing that. Off that push kick, if they don't go flying back, I'll usually stay there, then throw an uppercut and a lead hook sometimes, and I almost always catch the fighters if they try to throw first. I'm usually able to beat them on whatever they want to throw, and I almost always get a free uppercut there. And it happened. What was he about to throw there? He was throwing an uppercut himself, maybe? I'm not sure, but we caught him in a vulnerability state. All right, guys. Be back with another one. All right, and we are having a rematch. This guy wanted a rematch. Going ahead, I'm going ahead and giving him one. And he's using a creative fighter now. It's a kickboxer acrobat, I think, was the style. The ping with this guy was a little high. Noticed light lag in the Dan Henderson fight. Nothing. I was still able to block transitions on the ground stuff, but yeah, I noticed it though. The other fights I had were were perfect. But it's quick fight, so we're going to go ahead and play as we drop him right there. Being that he's used an acrobatic fight, I don't think he's going to look to take me down. And as I say that, he's going to go for the laggy match takedown. That's fine with me. Oh, he wants to get up. Alright, you know what? I'm going to get up here. Out of uh, out of reaction, I just blocked that. You know, it's just muscle reaction to do that. He might have, he probably accidentally went for a takedown there. Oh man, you see that? He did a head movement there. Beautiful timing on that. It was just luck though, but it was still cool though when I feel that overhand. Oh, nice. Ooh, I threw a that straight right didn't do any stopping power there. He was able to. I was trying to throw a straight right, straight right rear body kick, interrupted me, but we drop him there. Oh, don't do that again, man. Don't do that again. <laughs> he did that a second time and ate that uppercut. Got to be smarter about going. Got to be smarter about going to the body. That's what. That's what'll happen. Let's see that again. Oh. All right, guys. I'm going to get another one in. Go ahead and keep this one going. Be right back. All right, and we are going up against George Rush St. Pierre. Might be a tough one here. Whew. I think I was holding block when I side lunge there. Well, I need to settle down. <laughs> I was worried he went flying back, but then he like stopped on the dime there. This guy's very aggressive. Should have been Vandalay Silva. Once again, I, I don't learn my lesson there with that with that lead overhand. Fall short on the lead overhand, eat the front kick and get rocked. I just I just I don't know why I can't get that through my head to stop doing that. Or to make sure it's going to land. I've been bet on guessing when they're gonna step in or if I'm in proper range today, haven't I? So we're already working from behind. And we got an aggressive GSP, man. There we go. There we go. See, now I was in proper range for that one. I tried to throw the head kick behind it, but the timing specific, and I guess I didn't time it, do it right. Well, I got to stop missing like that. 
does that again, I'm going to hit him with an uppercut. Let me keep needing your body, man. I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, man. We're doing some great damage to his body there. That was very nice. Man, look at his stamina. Mine's not actually around the same too, though, but for being George St. Pierre, that stamina is pretty terrible. So it's these are the body and him throwing just a... Yeah, I know he threw over 100 strikes this round. But with that said, he won the round. He got that rock on this. And the rocks are my fault because I'm, I, keep, I mess with the lead overhand again. Nice. Drop him. I should have just went to his body again. He's going to block high no matter what. Oh my goodness. How did that head kick miss? Mm. The first two I can understand. Just out of range. Okay, we're up. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to try to be on the ground for too long, especially on my back against GSP with Shabazian. Nice knee. He's not going to take me down now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Yeah, I queued that uppercut up. That's why it still came out, wasn't it? Even though he was already away from me. Who risky body kick, but it worked, man. Look at his stamina. That is crazy where his stamina's at. Considering that he's GSP, that's why. Get him on his fence here. Oh, I can't. There we go. Yep, keep working that body. My stamina's not looking super hot either, though, with that said. Got it. Still, though, it's not going to be enough to win the round. He's been dropped. If we can stand up here, we can probably push him on the fence there and uh, hit him with some body knees again. Yep. Beautiful. All right. Good round for us. Definitely our round. So it's one to one. His stamina is really bad, but mine's not that great either. So I do need to be careful as well. But I also need to win this round too. We both need to win this round. This is going to probably decide it here. There we go, slip straight. 
There we go. He thought I was going to lead with that straight. I led with a hook. Yeah, his head health is bad. His body health is bad, too. There we go. If I had a little bit more stamina, I would have stayed there. <laughs> See, is there anything I could have done about stopping that? Anything at all? I know he could have. I know he could have had the choice to turn left, up or down, which he didn't. He just drove me all the way from one side to the other. Nice rub, though. He was pre-blocking to get up the other way. That's what I did earlier. Should have made him pay for throwing that body kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive player. Double that up. My body health is a little low too. I gotta watch out for. He threw a lot of body kicks at me, especially in the first round. Man, that hook—he just keeps backing away from it and misses. That's annoying. It's happened a few times now. But we have him thinking about the body, though. He is dropping his hands a little. Nice. Rocked again. That's two rocks now. They want to take him down. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's rocked again. Back away, my stamina's dead. Oh, there it was. He got me. We're bored. We're both so... We, we've won this round as long as we don't get... Uh, I've rocked him three times, but he, I've rocked once. I, if I get dropped, I don't know if that would steal it for him or not. Take him down. Nice, we got that guillotine. All right, we should win this fight, guys. That's, that was a fun one, but we should that should be our fight. We won the, uh, we won round two by rock by dropping him actually. Then round three, we rocked him three times. That's gonna be our fight. Yeah, not the prettiest this play with Shabazz. I played a little sloppy, but um, gonna play a little tighter. But we still, I think we got this win. And I'll take it, guys. But I'm going to stop here. Let the decision play out. But uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Edmund the Golden Boy, Shabazzia. Sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominic.